Here's us at the former Conachet Park, which is now called the Roy Park House in 1940. This park was made about 1910 for a playground for the kids in the flat section of Holyoke. It's in the west side of the front of the Kelly School and has a lot of cool features. You're looking at a big uh, amphitheater of steps over there and a lot of nice benches around. We're going we're gonna to scan out the park right now and we're going to go towards the east of Tiny Bit and at, at the midsection you start to see a rock in the middle. We're going to go up to that and I'm going to read it to you. And that has you scan a bit more. It, this is fully owned by the city of Holyoke. And then when you come to the school, that's finally owned by the, the school itself, the school department. So it's a nice little park. Now in here in 1868 to 1870 were found um, 71 Native American burials. They were found at the edge of the flats, including in this park, and then towards some of the tenement houses and towards, towards Pena Park. It was quite the find. Sadly, they weren't scientifically studied. They just removed the bones. And but it's it's a very popular place in the summer because you, it's cooler with all these beautiful uh, trees around, mostly oaks. So we'll walk towards the meadow. I can probably stand right. Where's the plaque? Okay, the plaque says the Roy Park, and then it tells you it was put up on July 20th, 1941, by the city of Holyoke. It was named after Narcisse Ahmad de Roy. He was born in Holyoke. He went off to the Mexican American War, then he went off to World War I in France, and in 1918 he died in France at Chateau Thierry. He's buried in Europe, but they have a cenotaph for him at Notre Dame Cemetery of South Hadley. This park was named after him because his brother, for 20 years, was on the city council, and they wanted to honor him in this neighborhood. He, he happens to be the second cousin of my grandmother, and so I have a good connection with him. Now, this, this park is sometimes filled with a lot of squirrels like it is today. The reason why there's so many acorns falling, <laughs> that's one of the probably negatives of the park. But of course, there's very many positives around that the people love to come in here and get some shade. So thank you for coming.